Hey YouTube, time to do a fish room update for April 2017. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian here coming at you with a video. Um, just getting it in before the end of the month of April. Been a busy month, so I haven't had a chance to do much, so I apologize for that. But um, we'll get this one in here. Um, just starting down in the basement today, full fish room update. Um, this is uh, the Midas male that is Cheeto's brother, and then the female in the tube over there. They're doing good. As always, this guy's looking just great. Love his bright orange color, it's just so awesome. They're ready to eat. But yeah, they're doing good. Up above here is uh, Colossus, Flower Horn. He's looking great. He's He's been doing some growing lately too, so um, that's, that's always a good thing. side of the tank. Just really dig the colors on this guy. So he's been doing good. Sorry for the reflection in the background. Over here I've got the six reddest latest grow outs. Still been holding on to them, still thinking about getting rid of them. Tons of people have been asking me about them. So, um, I'll probably just, if I decide to sell them, I'll probably just post them for sale and see what we can't work out. But, just having a hard time letting these guys go. It might be cool to grow them out, but with some of the plans I've got for down here, they probably shouldn't keep them. Down below, basically an empty tank, got a few red devil grow outs, or not even grow outs, I'd still call them fries or fingerlings or whatever. Um, over here, Best Day used to be up here, shipped him out last weekend. Centrarchus shipped them out last weekend. Umbi Fry, Govi Fry, Govi and Umbi Fry, Black Nasty Fry, Hadiensis. I don't know why I use that term, I don't like that. Hadiensis. Nothing much to see there. Um, going over here, the other flower horn. Also doing good, seems to be kind of going through a little bit of a growth spurt. Lately. room full of tanks with lights on. That's what you're going to get. We'll do a separate shrimp update. Uh, Sequia used to be in this tank. They are gone too. Shipped them out last weekend. Um, here we have the one Hadiensis pair. They had a successful spawn. They still have some fry in there. I pulled some out, which I mentioned a minute ago. These guys are doing real good. A little bit of a smear on the tank there, so I apologize for that, but yeah, there's some more fry over here in this pot. Pulled most of them though. Get a close up of this guy. Beast. What a beast. She's not too shabby either. Okay, um, Modas. There's the male. The tail is still healing. I noticed she was uh, picking at it the other day, so that's not cool. I don't want to have to divide these guys, but if I have to, I will. Where's she at? Where's she hiding at right now? Sorry that my finger just got in the way there. Uh, where is she? Always out. She back over here. Yeah, there she is. She's under the sponge filter. You know, yesterday and today, 
they've been acting a little weird. I'm not too worried, just sometimes fish will act different. But they've both been kind of not quite themselves. So I'm going to keep an eye on it, but I'm sure it's nothing. Um, Redis Latus. Look at this nuchal hump on this beast. There she is, coming out of her tube. He's trying to get in there. Constantly wanting to spawn with her. She's just not having it. Um, once in a while, they will spawn. Maybe once a year, it seems like now. But yeah, doing well. More concerned with her than me right now. Usually... He likes to get all up in my business. This guy is just a beast though. Hadiensis pair. This female is just awesome. She's totally jet black colored for the most part. He's not too shabby either. You can see a fry is sucking off his slime coat, but these, as you can see, have also had a successful spawn. I pulled some of them and left a few in here. There are another male and female in this tank as well that constantly hide but as I've talked about in other videos I put them in here and ever since they seem to really this pair the main pair really seem to kind of pair off and stuff so I'm just kind of letting them be in there as targets or whatever you want to call it the female the other female usually stays over on this side and she'll go over and keep her in the corner and then the male that's the male back here usually stays on that side although that could be the female it's pretty darkened up anyway <clears throat> optimus and maximus the uh, f1 umby pair are doing well they had a successful spawn as well um last i saw there were a few fry left but i did pull a bunch of them um and yeah, sorry using my phone lately instead of my old camera um, just to see if the video quality is better. This phone, this is an iPhone 7 so it records in 4K whereas my camera didn't. But the camera is, or the lens is over on this side of the camera and I seem to always go like this with my finger as I'm holding it. So I'll try not to do that. Hold it with the other hand. But yeah, they're doing good. Um, there's one of the little fry down there. And you got Orion down here and his female. Still ornery as all heck. said these tanks over here empty empty fry Get a quick look at some fry Canadiensis Dovi and RV combined because I made a mistake when I was pulling fry had some Dovi in there and then dumped some umbi in there by accident and then umbi over here um, we'll head upstairs to do the remaining tanks. Got the carpet company coming today to clean the carpets, so everything's in disarray up here. 
I'm going to shut this shade. So the discus are doing decent. Um, I got rid of several of them. And I've got some left. However, I will be getting rid of the rest of them. If you are local watching this video and you want some discus, let me know. I'll sell them to you for a good price. And something different will be happening where this tank is, but I'm not at this point ready to say. So, that's that. Um, finally in the office, we got Cheeto. Doing as good as always. A lot of reflection today, that's unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Loaches are doing great. Bircher in here is doing good. Just chilling. So, yeah. Finally, this 90 gallon here, starting uh, to work on taking it down. I've been selling off the Monte Carlo. If you're looking for some Monte Carlo or some Fissidens, Fissidens isn't great, it's just got Monte Carlo pieces that are caught in it now from the flow, but um, both are great plants in great condition. Ex disclaimer though, there are scuds in this tank, so it's just free fish food basically. It's just the shrimp don't eat the scuds, so they multiply it in here. But I am selling off this Monte Carlo. I've sold about half of it so far. I'll be selling the rest, so I can ship that out no problem, especially this time of year. So let me know if you're looking for some Monte Carlo or some Fissidens Fontanas. And we'll work something out. So that's really it for this update. Um, Appreciate everybody that helped me get to 10,000 subscribers. I can't remember if I mentioned that in my last video, so if I did, I apologize for repeating myself. If not, thank you, thank you very much. That's really cool. I've never thought I would get to that point, but uh, it's awesome. Um, leave any comments you have below, any questions, if you're interested in any. I guess the only thing really right now that I've got available for sale is the Monte Carlo and the Fissidens plants. So uh, email me, my email will be below if you're looking for some of that. Otherwise, uh, thanks to everybody that subscribes and watches these videos. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.